Hey everyone, NASCAR Nick here, and I'm doing a video that I haven't done in in years. Actually, I haven't done any, I haven't even done a diecast video. I think in like three years maybe. But here I am back doing another diecast review. But this time it's not going to be on just an ordinary diecast. This is going to be on a custom diecast that I made myself, and I hope you all like this. It might seem unusual to you why I put this on a diecast, but I'll explain why I did and why it means so much to me. Here it is. This car is for Secretariat. For those of you who don't know who Secretariat is, that's him right there. He's the horse, not the person on the back of him. The horse is Secretariat. Secretariat is without a doubt probably the greatest racehorse to ever live. For, for those of you who don't know, race... Like, horse racing is just, it's my second favorite sport, next to NASCAR. Many of you might say it's abusive, but honestly, I don't really see it as abusive. As long as the jockey, you know, goes way too far with the whip, then that's abusive. There are some jockeys out there who don't even, who don't even, you know, go all wild with that whip. They, sometimes they don't even use it at all. But let me get back into it. So, as you can see, the diecast here, it's, it's a white base with a blue checkered board paint scheme. That's the reason why it's a checkerboard is because for those of you who for those of you who watch horse racing, the uniforms that the jockey wears, those are called silks. And each farm or stable has their own silks. These were the silks of the meadow of the meadow stable, owned by Christopher Chennery, which was later taken over by his daughter Penny Chennery. So as you can tell, these are Secretariat's colors. As you can tell, also tell I made it I put it on a Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Mainly because the Chevy's my favorite manufacturer, and I love this body style. I put gold wheels on the car to commemorate Secretariat's upcoming 50th anniversary birthday. He was born on March 30th, 1970, but passed away at the age of 19 in 1989 after a long battle with laminate. So I'll get into that in a little bit. So as you can see at the roof right here, it says Secretariat at 50, March 30th, 1970 to October 4th, 1989, with the quote made by Chick Anderson during the 1973 Belmont Stakes, a tremendous machine. On the hood is Secretariat being led out onto the racetrack by his famed jockey and great friend, Ronnie Turcott. This was a picture taken of those two on the day of the Belmont Stakes in 1973, which would lead them into immortality. On the back of on the back on the deck lid is another picture of Secretariat and Ronnie. This was them coming down the coming down the stretch to win the Belmont Stakes. On the back, you can tell obviously it has the Chevrolet headlights. I mean, excuse me, I mean taillights. It says 1973 Triple Crown winner. The Triple Crown in horse racing, you got to win the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness Stakes, and the Belmont Stakes all in a row. Only 13 horses have ever done so in over in, in over its 100. And it's a hundred year plus history. Secretary was only, I'm sorry, Secretary was only the ninth horse to do so. Ninth. And that was in 1973. He broke all three race records in the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. But the Belmont is what stands out. That's why that quote on the roof, a tremendous machine, was born. Because in the Belmont Stakes, there were only five horses. And he and his best, and he and his most famous competitor, Sham, pulled away from the field in what would be a great a great duel honestly Secretary would pull away uh, like halfway down the back stretch he and Sham were like how many lengths they were like at least maybe eight lengths to third place when they were down the back stretch eight lengths it's like from the exit of the turn fork Daytona down to at least the entrance of Pit Road at Daytona. That's how big their that's how big their lead was from the rest of the field. But then Secretary out of nowhere came he started to accelerate and increase that lead until the lead was unbelievably thirty one lengths. Thirty one lengths, I believe, is the entire length of the Homestead Miami Speedway. Now that's how long that went that's how long that lead was. Put Secretary at the beginning of turn three at Homestead and the rest of the field would be coming out of turn two. That's how big that lead was. It's hard to believe, but go watch the footage. You type in the 1973 Belmont Stakes. But when Secretariat was pulling away, Chick Anderson, who was, the, who was the announcer for CBS at the time, he said, Secretariat is moving like a tremendous machine. 
the Secretary would do it. He would win the Belmont Stakes and the Triple Crown in record-breaking fashion. And his three records that he broke those years still stand to this day. And I don't think they'll ever be broken. Right here on the roof, you can see it has names. Penny Chenery, who is his owner. Penny Chenery actually lived to the... God, honestly, God rest her soul. Lived to the age of 95 until she passed away in September of 2017. Honestly, I'll, I'll never forget that day. But, uh, that day... That was the same day that Ted Christopher passed away. I was at the Riverhead Modified Race when Ted passed away, but I didn't find out until Penny passed away until the next day when I went on my horse racing account on Instagram. On the right side, you have Ron Turcott's name, Secretary to Jockey. Ron's still alive in his late 70s, I believe living in Canada. On the other side, you have Eddie Sweat, who is, his, who is Secretariat's, I think, Secretariat's breeder or trainer. I believe trainer, actually. No, yeah, he was the trainer, trainer, yeah. And he was the he was basically the person who spent the most time with Secretariat. And then right here, Lucian Lauren, who is the trainer. No, oh my, I, I'm so sorry, I just messed myself up. Lucian Lauren right here was the trainer of Secretariat. Eddie Sweat was, Eddie Sweat was the groom. That's who he was, he was the groom. Lucian Lauren, if you ever seen the Secretariat movie, it was played by John Malkovich, which honestly I think was a really, really big mistake. I mean, the movie was great, it's just the acting, ugh, not really. Many of you would probably comment saying like that, like horse racing doesn't belong in a race car, but I hate to disagree with you, but I will. I think this diecast came out amazing the way I made it. I didn't think it would come out this great. And I'm just, I'm in love with it. So, and for those of you who are wondering, I do make these, I do make custom diecasts. I do sell them. I have an Instagram page and I'm going to put the name of in the, in the description if you guys want to follow me. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make some more diecast reviews in the future with my custom diecast. I know the I know the diecast fee right now was completely horrible because, <laughs> like I said, I haven't done one in years, so I'm still a little rusty with them. But I'll probably get better as I keep going on. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to me, and let me know what I should do for some future videos. In the meantime, NASCAR Nick signing out. Good night.